Hi, this is Lachimi Kantiwari. Today I'm gonna show you a brand new uh, board. I have got this brand new board from the Nordic Semiconductor. It is a NRF52 development kit. It's really very powerful board. Suppose that if you want to develop your IoT applications, definitely you can develop your IoT application on this board. It is powered with the ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller which is running at 64 megahertz. And of course, as you know, the ARM has many peripherals such as uh, SPI, UART, and um, I2C and including a mini SPI UART and uh, other things and also it has a DMA on on chip itself so let me tell you more about this boards and the other supported peripherals as here you can see uh, you can measure uh, uh, NRF current measurements that means uh, how much current your uh, processor is consuming while running any algorithms right so you can measure from here and uh, it takes the input power supply from the usb and uh, this usb is also being used to program through this debugger and uh, the debugger as you can see there it's a pca10040 and it is being used to program this nrf52832 microcontroller and here it has uh, external pins also which is jtag pins and you can use these pins to program your custom board Suppose that if you have developed your custom boards and you do not have a debugger or a programmer, then definitely you can use this board as your debugger or the programmer. And apart from this, it has a 31 G input output GPIO pins. And I think the 31 GPIO pins is much enough for your general purpose uh, IoT applications. You can interface a lot of sensors with these uh, 32 input output GPIO pins. And here it has a power input and the output switch buttons. You can uh, uh, control your power without disconnecting here USB cable. And uh, here you can see these are the, uh, uh, the headers where you can uh, uh, solder your male or the female headers. And here this side also. But as you can see that this line is completely dedicated to the only the ground. And this line is dedicated to the, uh, the corresponding pin of the VDD, VDD, reset, VDD, 5 volt, etc right and the same thing is happening here at this side and apart from that there are the four uh, buttons button one two three and the four and these buttons you can use to test your uh, interrupt external interrupt for any input output gpio pins and uh, you need to connect this uh, debugger if you want to uh, connect your debugger and the microcontroller together and if you remove remove it then your debuggers would be uh, i mean your microcontroller sections would be independent from this debugger and apart from that, you can also connect the NFC. If you want to develop your any applications based on the NFC, then uh, Nordic also provides the NFC antenna and you can connect that NFC here, right? So this is the NFC card and um, it has here, as you can see, uh, if you see it very clearly, it has on, chip, on PCB antenna here and uh, it do not have a cheap antenna or any external antenna. However, you can connect external antenna. It's, it is known as a UFL connector here, right? So apart from that, it is running at 3.3 volts. So the 5 volt power supply is coming from here and then it is being converted at 3.3 volt using a linear dropout voltage regulator. And here another buttons I would like to tell you about the IF boot and the reset. That means this button can reset your board while running. Now let me take it to the back side. If you see the back side, there um, the pin numbers and the corresponding functions has been uh, mentioned here. And such as you can see here, the P0.00 supports the XL1, that's the crystal oscillator pin number 1. P0.01 is corresponding to the crystal oscillator pin number 2. And uh, corresponding pins are here as it is. And apart from that, you can see here, um, it has a um, uh, coin cell support. So, so suppose that if you are developing any applications which is a very battery, you know, the battery efficiency and you want to run your... Uh, your boards are application only through the coin cell definitely you can use this uh, inbuilt uh, connector right and here you can see here it is written there the arm embed enabled so it's very interesting uh, i mean you have here uh, um, many platforms to program this nrf you can program it through the iar or with general purpose uh, gcc compilers or with the kale and the embed embed is really very powerful uh, embed processors developed by the arm and the KL is of course the independent ID available for the Windows Micro uh, Windows PC. Uh, so you can develop your any application. 
so in the due tutorials uh, i'll be um, i uh, i'll be taking you uh, with many other tutorials such as the bluetooth led adc ur timer and also uh, feather monitoring systems connecting with the external sensors such as the adc 24 bit sigma delta adc temperature and the humidity sensors light sensors air quality noise and light sensor so this will be a really uh, at least the 20 video series in which we will be covering each and every detail of nrf 52 development kit so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for us and uh, subscribe this channel so that you can directly get the update into your inbox okay bye bye have a nice day